Good evening, everybody. Welcome. I am Johnny Gibson. And I'm Brian Faulkner. Welcome to the Sports Beef Jerky. Utter all things about sports and stuff. I just messed that up for the third time. It's awesome. Sweet. We're going to talk about how bad this show is tonight. Um, and sports stuff. Awesome. And if you want to follow along, you can get in the chat room and join the fun. Well, don't. It's not fun right now. <laughs> but, for future reference, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. Hey, and helping us out, if you want to call it helping, is uh, our Master Control, Rich. Uh, I love you guys. Thanks for that. Now, you're real troopers. Thanks for uh, sticking with us, and especially our live viewer. Viewer. All right, our viewers are gone now. Um, we're live, and we're Let's break it, it down right for you watching this recorded, perhaps. We just had... The most epic meltdown of all times. Dude. We have was... our good weeks and we have our bad weeks here on the Lone Star, and uh, this this ain't great. But, you know, <laughs> we're plowing we through because we're professionals. We're not going to just be like, oh, this is hard and go home. Then, no, no. Then we lost our connection. And then, and then once great. we got our connection back, we started rolling pretty good. And then Windows Update uh, <laughs> took over. So we had to turn it off again. And so this is our third try. All of our viewers have left uh, the room. Tight. Um, Fucking Windows 98. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to do the show again. I mean, for the first time. Hey. Sweet. You know, in some circles, that was just known as rehearsal. So don't feel that bad. Yeah, on Broadway, which Johnny frequents. Yes. <laughs> now so Ryan's right. the Broadway aficionado. What's up now, dog? I don't know. I don't even know where I am right now. Let's uh, talk baseball. Richard, don't you have, uh, Richard? <laughs> Richard? Just, okay. Let's, let's, okay, let's, no, no, go ahead and cover your Rangers news, news and topical stuff first, and then, uh, so gonna I'll talk about you? my featurette. You hear me yelling at you right now? I know. Okay, producer. well, <laughs> Rangers are struggling a little bit right now. The pitching is becoming what we all feared it was at the beginning of the season. Um, I, it is due in some part to ability and talent. CJ and Colby are two. The two guys that were supposed to be our solid starters are, especially Colby, not doing very well right now. The the guys that they got starting positions at the at the end of spring training and and got a chance to show their stuff started off strong. They're kind of starting to fall off a little bit. Um, we've got a stack of injuries. You know, five or six pitchers on the DL. Our bullpen is down to its reserves. Reserves. We got our strongest bullpen guys are two over 40 year old men um our closer is disabled we just the pitching's falling apart so you're telling me this thing's looking bright our mvp is on the dl <laughs> like i don't we still it's have all downhill record. from here we still have a great record right now i think it's gonna fall off a little bit we'll get back on there we'll start I don't know. I'm a little worried right now. It's a long season. I'm not worried about what happens in the long run, but we're going to go through a rough patch. Um, yeah. That's about it. You know, well all said, great success sir. stories have a struggle. Nobody just like waltzes in and dominates and wins everything. Richard, you have a very interesting uh, little <laughs> tidbit for us. I don't want you to play Ooh. it tonight. I want to tease it for the next show. I love tidbits, dude. But people need to hear about this, especially okay. for the promo. All right, so <laughs> earlier in the season, let me read my script here. Now, early in the season, we had talked about uh, doing a uh, trying to get the hot dog guy from the original Arlington Stadium Hot Dog Chucking Association nice. uh, on the show. And uh, as producer, I set out to go try to scare him up and see if I could uh, flush him out of the woods, so to say. And I uh, managed to, actually, the other day. Got him on the uh, phone, and I edited it up today, just to, the, the little interview segment with him. So uh, we'll have that ready for you guys next week here on the Half-Ass Sportscast. That'll be our first interview, folks. That is pretty tight. That guy's pretty much a legend. You're a hot dog guy. You can hear him from across the stadium. Come on. Yeah. Now, please tell me you got a liner out of him, Richard, for the show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was good enough to uh, oblige us. Oh my oh, god! I don't have, it in, I don't have it in the drop yet, but you know. Okay. Oh no! Yes. I'm coming to. Okay. <laughs> Sweet. So let's get on some Mavericks. Okay. Now they've been playing for well over a week now, and we were off last week. Therefore, we have a lot to cover. But I'm are they any good this season? Uh, 
did all right, I guess. I don't know. Think they'll make the playoffs? I don't know. I think I don't know. I think Dirk will score over twenty points a game this year. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's He's so tight. He's, you know, he really is. Yeah. Whatever. Of course he will, and of course they did, and of course they are. Oh, sweet! Back to present time. Boom! Fast forward to reality, sucker. By the way. Hey. Oh no! You see that? Wow! That was, look at you guys. Too? That's new this week. Now let that be some foreshadowing with the thunder. <laughs> Ooh, the thunder. The OKC thunder. Anyway, forget about it. So, okay, the Mavericks won their first two, lost their next two. Not good in the way they lost. Pretty typical of the uh, first round Mavericks, as we're all accustomed to at this point. Well, first round. How about finals Mavericks? Okay. Because like, cool. that, last, that last loss, the four, game four, reminded me of 2006, and it wasn't even funny. It made me sick. It really ruined my night. I'm you not joking. You feel it? Even even with the last game where we were back home again, you could tell, even though we were winning that game, the crowd was scared. There wasn't a lot. They weren't going as crazy as they should have been because people were nervous because everyone's reliving the last six years of Mavs playoffs in their head. They are just scared. You don't really want to get too excited because you know what the Mavs are capable of in the playoffs. It was just, everyone just started having flashbacks. Man, it made me sick to my stomach. I got really pissy. I got real pissy, man. I got really upset. It ruined my night. It did, yeah. Um, it was it was incredibly frustrating to see that. But yet, the Mavericks take that loss. It was a one of the three worst uh, give up, lead give-ups in the fourth quarter in NBA history. It's just ridiculous. But they come back uh, the other night. And Monday night, very strong performance. Very strong. Everybody taking it to the hoop from the from the get go. You saw guys that normally they cycle the ball around the perimeter that take the shots. They'd get the ball. They'd think about shooting. They'd hesitate for a second. You'd see, you could tell in their body language that they wanted to shoot. But then they remembered that they needed to take it to the rim. Yeah. Everybody did. Tyson Chandler was a beast in twenty rebounds, thirteen offensive rebounds, which is which is a franchise record. And twenty rebounds in a playoff game hasn't happened since nineteen ninety one or. Something like that. Uh-huh. Dude, it, it, was, it hadn't happened in a it was long incredibly ass time. Impressive. And you know, really, overall, with the exception of the second half of that fourth quarter the other night, the Mavs have been the better team the whole series. I mean, they've they've shown that they are... I mean, if, they're, if both teams are playing at all cylinders, we have the better team. Our team's more talented. We're very capable of taking this series. They just have to buckle down and do it. It's going to be really hard to do it over there in Portland. I'd like them to, but... I won't be surprised if it comes back to Dallas. And if it does come back to Dallas, I'm pretty confident we can shut it out here. I'll say this. If, if they win in Portland, I feel a whole hell of a lot better about them winning the entire next round. Yes. Yes, just as, no doubt. Just as the, the, for them to win on the road in the playoffs, which are one in nine in the last game, in the, la, uh, in the last ten games in the playoff. Or no, they're, they're one in nine the last time, less visits to Portland, or they're like one... Oh, I forget. They've all had. They've almost had little or no road success at all in the, in the recent future in road games. All right. So for them to win on the road would be huge. It'd be big. It'd be a big turning point for the team. I think. I think as far as as far as the teams, just just in their minds, I think it would be good for them. It, it makes us feel a whole lot better about it. But, but I, I think it'll make them feel a whole lot better about it too. They'll be a lot more confident just knowing that they can go on the road. And because that's going to come into play. I mean, if we make it to the next round, and I mean, if we're playing the Lakers, you're going to have to be able to go on the road, go to LA, and lay it down. And you'll have to go to LA because they hold home court. Yeah, they're going to have home court advantage for that series. So we really, it, it would be really great if, if the Mavs can win tomorrow night, close it out in Portland, you know, punctuate the ending on that series, let everybody know we're real, because, you know, everyone's doubting us right now. Well, everybody doubted us before the series, and then we rolled out those, we rolled out strong, and then, you know, we were, looked like we were ready to prove everybody wrong, and then you let, you let game four And then four they happen. come back and tie it up. So... But, you know, on the plus side, which is... The, the Spurs are getting... The, the number one seeded Spurs are getting dominated and embarrassed by the number eight seed Grizzlies... Dude, the Grizzlies. They don't even have their one of their top two players for the rest of the year are still dominating the old handicapped Spurs 
<laughs> the Spurs just look like they're done. I think that regime is done. I think, yeah, the they're go, they're on their way out the door. I don't expect them to be able to come back and win this series. I think the Grizzlies are going to take them down. I think I think the Lakers are going to come through and they're going to end up winning their series. The, the Lakers will because they'll get the calls. And That's honestly, the NBA goes. Uh, everyone's worried about that because oh, the Mavs. We can, we don't want to play the Lakers. You know, they're too. Come on, guys, be confident. You know, we do better going in as the underdog. I want to play the Lakers. I want to be the underdog. The Mavs play better when they're the underdog. You have to beat the best to be the best. I mean, you want to be the champion? You got to go through. You got to beat the best teams. So we got to beat LA. Well, I want to. We need to. Because everyone thinks we're so soft. I thought you had to beat me. I think that's something different. Uh, <clears throat> we'll do that uh, offline here, right? That's, oh, oh, okay, yeah, sorry. That, yeah. That's, not the right that time. That might not be NBA playoffs that you're thinking of. Um, you want to elaborate further? No. No, he doesn't. No. Mm, awkward. So, so. That came to a screeching halt. <laughs> uh, All right. So, <clears throat> what else you got, Johnny? As you shuffle your iPad? Uh, nothing. Does that hurt it when you shuffle your iPad like that? Yeah. Like smash the right. screen? Somebody had to break the tension somehow. Good call, dude. Yes. You guys going to cover any uh, football pre-draft excitement? No. We're going to save that for tomorrow. Well, let's go ahead and tell everybody about that, then. But we should tell. Well, we should prep it up. <laughs> even though nobody's going to see this before the show happens. That's what I was thinking. It's like, ah, we really worry about talking about it to the live audience. Yeah, mm. I don't really know Let's practice. if it's worth mentioning. Anyway, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. 7 o'clock. That's tomorrow night. Central time. Sweet. We're going to be covering the draft live. Live? Probably just the first round of the draft because we have Well, lives. that's all they do in the first night is the first round. Yeah, well, I, it shows you how much I know about the NFL draft. We're a forward-thinking forward network. You can cover the second week. Oh, my God, no. We're going to be doing a crossover episode with the guys from You Can't Brew That. We're going to be drinking beer, talking draft, uh, covering it live for you guys, and it should be a lot of fun. And if any, it's not, uh, any expectations or thoughts? If it's on not, the drink along now? with us at home, and then it will be fun. If Cam Newton goes number one, I'm going to castrate myself live on television. <laughs> Make that the promo. <laughs> Done. Awesome. Done. Yeah, Donny says awesome. Don't also, handle. mark that. Right. Mark. It's just like a, a leading liner for any. Just the I'm going to castrate myself part. Ah, now you both said it. Can't put it in there because then, <laughs> then even if he does, I'll be damned for eternity. Yeah, you will have to castrate yourself. Ooh. So I mean, someone meant Johnny. <laughs> Whoa, bits! Bits oh, are going on. Oh gosh, bits are fun. <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, I think we need to. Th- this show's been. Uh, it's been a great show, but I think we're gonna. We're going to call this one a little early, guys. Sorry for the uh, short show, and sorry to the live viewers that attempted to watch this and uh, were horribly, horribly disappointed. We're all disappointed, uh, Johnny. I think we're all a little disappointed tonight. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so, Our sports weenies in the dirt, but that's okay, guys, because uh, there's still another inning. Right, but, Johnny? You know what? It's a bonus week. We're going to see you guys tomorrow night, too. Yeah, yeah, they're saving their A game for the Thursday night broadcast. It's pretty obvious you guys are phoning this one in. Dude, dude, I'm bringing three it three times. <laughs> Listen, I'm bringing it tomorrow, guys. I'm gonna make up for this. Don't you worry. No, this is good. Third time's a charm. Good job. Oh my god! All right. I'll listen well, to that's me. all we have for the sports crap shit. Uh, meat stick. What the hell? I said beef jerky. No, that was good. Do you guys uh, join us again next week live, live for a much better production at FrontierTelevision.com? <laughs> we'd love to have you back. Don't. Don't base it off of this and one. And don't forget to subscribe <laughs> to our free podcast and beat us up verbally. Yeah, if you'd like the RSS link or you want to be a fan of our Facebook page or follow us on Twitter, go to www.frontiertelevision.com slash sports, and you can find all those links there. Boom. Roasted. All right. That's it, folks. That's it. We'll see you tomorrow night. Play the Looney Tunes music. What that? That, that, that works. Uh-huh. It's just as good. Thank you.